Well, I'm going to highlight some Yarmouth yeah, Cross from Neil here on GCN Racing. Round two of the Rectivit series. A great course for the riders, made even tougher by the conditions. Many riders choosing to sit out the Monday race after the previous day's European Championship as it was Kim van der Steeno of Tartaletto Isarex that led out from Ellen van Looy, Lucinda Brand and former world champion Talita de Jong getting the best start that we've seen from her for a while. First race of the season for Lucinda Brand and now in the colours of Telenet Balois Lions it was the Dutch national champion that was already opening a gap on the first lap. Fresh from a bronze medal in the previous day's under-23 European Championships, Marion Norbert Riberola of Exposa was sitting in second wheel, while Katie Compton and Ellen Van Looy were locked in a battle behind for third. Into the pits for a bike change, Brand would also dispense with the gloves, while Norbert Riberola made a move at the front. Brand, though, was quickly back into her stride. She made it up to the front group, while behind Van Looy was losing time. Three became two as Compton and a brand went toe to toe. It came down to a tactical bike change. Compton went into the pits. Brand decided not to, and this would be the race winning move. Brand made her move. Compton was holding her, but she would not make it back to the front of the race. Sven Nace giving the advice to Brand from the side. Compton multiple times on the podium this season. She would have to settle for second again, while Lucinda Brand gave her new team a dream start with her first victory of the winter. Away from Compton, who took second place a while behind them. One of the riders of the season, 20 years old from Exposa, Maria Norbert Riberola of France definitely not far away from her first big victory. Your top 10 looked like this. Brand from Compton and Riberola, Van der Steena, Van Looy, Frank, De Jong, Verhoeven, Roy Eggers and Verhastrat and your top 10. There's your podium, Lucinda Brand on the top step for the first time this winter. Definitely won't be the last. The elite men's race, Laurence Swake, bronze medalist from the European Championships the previous day. It was the man, though, that was alongside him, Matthew Vanderpool, who had taken that victory. A crash just off the start line delayed many riders, including Irish national champion David Conroy. It would be a battle for them to come back to the head of the race. T-Sarts, Jim Arnouts, Tom Mayerson made up the front group with Dieter Swake and Vitsa Bosman's also looking good. Mayerson has carried the flag for Corridon Circus many times this season. Again, it would be a bike change that would delay him while Jens Adams made his move at the front. Always vigilant, Matthew Vanderpool was quickly on it and he came past the Pau Sausen man just before the sand. And just like the previous week's Super Prestige race, it was the power through the sand of Matthew Vanderpool that spelled the end of the opportunity to take victory in the Neil race. Double foot slide through this treacherous section. The world champion was opening the gap a lap on lap over the chasers. It was Laurens Swake from Palsausen that was chasing hard behind. While Tease Arts, the man who had taken a victory the previous day in the UK National Series in Crawley, was riding in third place. Laurence Swick, the winner of the first round, the GP Pelt had to settle for second, but Matthew Vanderpool, three races so far this season. It's a 100% record. Laurence Swick waves a good season that he is having so far. He takes second place, while behind t Sartz, happy with third, while Tom Mayusen led out the sprint to take fourth. There's your top 10, Vanderpool from Swake and Arts, while Tom Mayerson outsprints Dieter Swake for fourth, Adams Meissen, Vanderpool, Bossmans and Peters, your top 10. Matthew Vanderpool for the second day running, top step of the podium for the world champion. <laughs>